What's up guys? My name is Takia. I'm an orthodontic assistant and today I'm going to go over orthodontic tooth numbering as well as orthodontic tooth charting. It is really different from general dentistry so I'm going to break down everything about numbering and charting in orthodontics in this video. I do orthodontic and dental videos every Tuesday and I also do content with my family every Friday so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. All right, let's go. So I do have my orthodontic dental typo dot here. So I will be using this to help me explain tooth numbering. I did order this offline. If you're curious on where I got it from or if you want to order this, I will link it down below. So. In orthodontics, we do number the teeth differently. We start from the midline. So looking here at this type of dot, starting from the midline, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when you start from the lower, we start from the midline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to break that down. So I'm going to go ahead and open the upper here. So starting from the midline, we always start from the midline and we're going to start with the central here. We number either upper left, upper right, lower left or lower right. Starting from the upper with the upper left, with this upper central on the upper left side, the upper left central would be, will be one. So we do one, the lateral two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's one for the central, two for the lateral, three for the cuspid, four for the first bicuspid, five for the second bicuspid, six for the first molar, seven for the second molar. Being that I'm on the upper left side, this will be the upper left one upper left two, upper left three, upper left four, upper left five, upper left six, upper left seven. Starting from the midline, same on this side, with this upper right central, upper right central will be one, this upper right lateral will be two, upper right two, this upper right cuspid will be upper right three. Starting right here for the First bicuspid, this will be four. Since we're on the right side, it will be upper right four. Starting for the second bicuspid, it will be five, also known as upper right five, since we're on the upper right side. This first molar will be upper right six. And then you have seven, and it's the upper right seven. With the lower, the same thing, starting from the midline. On this lower left, we will do lower left one, Lower left two, lower left three, lower left four, lower left five, lower left six, lower left seven. Coming to the lower right, lower right one, lower right two, lower right three, lower right four, lower right five, lower right six, lower right seven. So it's all simplified starting from the midline. In orthodontics, when you hear the orthodontist or an assistant say upper left one, they are referencing the central on the upper left side. If they say lower left five, they are referencing the second bicuspid on the lower left side. Say, for example, if they say the upper right six, they are referencing the first molar on the upper right side. When abbreviating those numbers, we use capital letters of what we're going to reference. So if you're referencing the upper left one, the doctor will most likely abbreviate that as a capital letter U, a capital letter L, and one beside it. If you see, for example, capital letter L, capital letter R, with the five beside it, that's an abbreviation for lower right five. We also chart differently in orthodontics. So being that we count from the midline and everything is one through seven, when charting orthodontics, 
you may see a chart that looks similar to this. So it's a diagram and you have all of the numbers one through seven, you have one through seven in the upper left corner, one through seven on the upper right corner, one through seven on the lower left corner, one through seven on the lower right corner. So whenever you see that chart, that's referencing all of the numbers in orthodontics. When you see the charting written out, the one on your upper left side will truly be the upper right and the patient's upper right. Like in general dentistry in orthodontics, we number based off looking at the patient. So whenever you're looking down on the paper and you're looking at the charting, that's the patient's upper right side, but of course it's going to be your left side. So everything is just backwards when you're looking at it, just like in general dentistry. Our left is the patient's right, our right is the patient's left. So when you see that charting, that's what it is. Sometimes if the doctor is just referencing a certain tooth when writing up treatment notes, you may see orthodontic charting abbreviations. And in saying that, I mean, instead of writing out the word upper left or putting the abbreviation capital U, capital N referencing upper left, the doctor may put a little square with the number in it. So if you want to reference the upper left one without writing capital letter U, capital letter L with the one beside it, you may see the doctor put this little square with the one. When you see that, the doctor is referencing the upper left one. If you see a square facing this way, the doctor is referencing the upper right one. If you see the square facing this way, the doctor is referencing the lower left one. If you see the doctor put a square that way, the little marking, it's going to be the lower right one. In every patient's chart, when we pull it up, you will see a diagram like the diagram I had pictured here. Say if we're only going to bond the front four teeth. So in that chart, I will only see, for example, upper two to two. Upper two to two, you'll see the diagram chart and you'll see a one and a two on the upper left side, a one and a two on the upper right side. When I see that, I know I'm going to bond the front four teeth. Say if I see all of the numbers present, the entire diagram, one through seven, one through seven, one through seven, one through seven. That means that we're going to bond everything that day when the patient comes in. They're going to get braces on the upper left, one through seven, upper right, one through seven, lower left, one through seven, lower right, one through seven. I hope this made sense and I hope that you guys were able to follow through. Go ahead and comment any questions you may have. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.